We're Jimmy and Natalie, and we're currently about 80% of the way through our journey up north from South Carolina. Last week, Jimmy crashed his e-bike, which landed him in an urgent care center. Fastest route to the cemetery. Jimmy! Let's go. So we're hoping for some better luck this week as we take our first ever ferry to go island hopping on one of the Great Lakes. We're waking up yet again at a Walmart parking lot, and honestly, we had a really good night of sleep. Um, so much so that I set our alarm for 7.30 p.m., not a.m., and we slept in a little bit today. We're not in too big of a rush. We've got a really fun, chill day planned in front of us. The spot where we parked overnight is actually right next to an Amish horse and buggy station. So while we've been here, we've seen several Amish people roll up with their horse and buggy tie off their horse at this little covered shelter where they've got hay, they've got buckets for water if it's really hot outside, and then they'll go into Walmart. We're trying not to be too fascinated by it because it feels really creepy and invasive to watch them from inside our van, but we definitely noticed and we think it's really cool. So first off, I want to say thank you to everyone last week for wishing me well after I hurt my shoulder. Unfortunately, I'm still in the sling. I thought it would all be healed up after a week, but I'm not quite there. The pain is a lot more manageable. It's gone way down, and I'm able to move my shoulder a lot more. Uh, sometimes I don't even wear the sling just to like exercise it out a little bit, but um, today I'm gonna play it safe. I've got it on, and I'm not gonna make it worse. we got the last parking spot. We definitely could have chosen to take Pancake on the ferry instead of just parking here and then taking the ferry. Oh yeah, we're going on a ferry. I don't know if I've said that yet, but we could take Pancake on the ferry. It would just cost a bit more, and I think we've got a more fun option to get around the island once we get there, believe it or not. We're in a little bit of a hurry because we're trying to catch the ferry to a South Bass Island, and it leaves in three minutes and we do not have tickets yet. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Don't lose those. All right. This is our first time ever actually going on a ferry, but we're in the Great Lakes region and we might be around this area for the next little while. So we might be something we gotta get used to. We're on one of the Great Lakes. This is Lake Erie, and we are taking the ferry to get to Put-in Bay. So I wasn't expecting this, but when we got on the ferry, there's actually an inside cabin for passengers to sit in. I feel like the people who are sitting in there are missing out on the experience though because the view is so nice out here. It's a bit chilly today, but it's not unbearable and I think it's worth it for the view. If you couldn't tell, this is our first time ever on a ferry, so we're pretty excited about it. So we've made it to the island and it's beautiful here, but it's a couple of miles across in diameter so it's a little bit far to walk. We obviously didn't bring our van and because of Jimmy's broken shoulder, we didn't want to bring our e-bikes either. But I think we got a good solution figured out. So Jimmy's shoulder is too injured for him to drive the van, but apparently he's fine driving the golf cart. It's too fun not to. 
I'm sorry, I just really wanted to. He's doing a good job with it, and honestly, I feel like you can control the thing pretty well with one hand. It, it, it's a lot slower than I thought it was going to. It's not electric, it's a gas-powered golf cart, and the top speed is like six miles per hour. It's really slow. Yeah, all the cars are just speeding around us. And I think normally, if you were here in the warm summer months, there would be a ton of other golf carts out on the road, but we're here in April and it's really cold, so we've got the whole road to ourselves. So the island is only a couple miles across, making it pretty small. And uh, even going six miles per hour in the golf cart, it only takes us a few minutes to go across the entire island. But there's so much to do. And we only have a few hours before we have to return the golf cart rental. So we're gonna try to do as much as we can while we're still here. store. Jimmy hates how I eat pizza. The cheese is so good. So we just got lunch, and uh, I'm not gonna push it anymore driving. My arm's hurting a little bit, so I gave the keys to Natalie. Plus, I wanna drive. We're trying to figure out where the limestone caves are that we can actually tour. And I think since this is such the off season, we might not be able to figure it out. We just went to another place that does limestone cave tours and they said that they're just not open for the season and that they wouldn't do it anyway unless there were a dozen people here to go and do a tour. So we're gonna try one more place and if we can get a tour, I think this will be the place, but otherwise we might just be out of luck this time. We got really lucky and we managed to score a tour of one of the gemstone mines on the island. There are only two that are open to the public and I've been told that this one is the prettiest. This looks fake. Uh, that's <laughs> pretty pretty. Yeah, a lot. So we're inside a huge celestite geode and you can see like the bluish greenish crystals all around and it's crazy. We're not supposed to touch any of it, but it just totally surrounds you and it's like a full room that you can walk into. The biggest crystal in this cave is this one right here. It's about 14 inches by 11 inches, and if you were to take it out on its own, it weighs somewhere between 350 to 400 pounds. And just for the record, we're learning all of this 30 seconds beforehand. We're currently on a tour right now. Well, that was a success. That was very cool. They got us too. <laughs> okay, that was my fault. We did not know this, but you pay for a $16 tour. And in this case, we got the tour all to ourselves. But then at the end of it, they give you two free wine tastings. Thank you. And talking to the tour guide, she said it's because due to the laws in Ohio, they can't actually do free wine tastings. So I think they do this as a way that like we're actually paying for it by doing the tour. And then we get two free drinks that way. And then we end up 
buying a bottle on our way out because we're yeah. suckers. Which was completely my idea, but it's which is crazy. It. I don't even like wine, but it was, it was really good. She was really nice. Yeah, it was a good experience. I feel like the tour was so well priced and I wanted to support the business a little more and it was really good wine. So it'll be fun to have a bottle. Well, we have like the rest of the island to go explore. That's only like two square miles. It shouldn't be that hard. Yeah, we should be done by <laughs> three o'clock. <laughs> Spot number two is we want to go check out the Cliffside Preserve. Only slight problem, I thought it was called the Massive Cliffside Preserve. After being in California where they have huge cliffs right on the beach, I think our expectations might have been heightened a little bit, but this should still be really pretty. I'm, I'm still excited for it, don't get me wrong. so spooky. <laughs> that looks very scary. <laughs> it, it moves a lot when you stand on it. You're gonna fall right through. Ooh. Oh my gosh, don't do that. <laughs> I break my shoulder for one week and you're doing all the risky stuff now. <laughs> Someone's got to. <laughs> The last ferry that we can take to get back to mainland leaves at 6 o'clock today. We need to return the golf cart by 5.30 and it is currently 5 o'clock. We are on the totally opposite side of the island from where we need to be. So we kind of need to start heading back over there pretty much right now. And with a 6 mile per hour golf cart, I think we should be able to get there just in time. <laughs> We've got 25 minutes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> we literally have to go the entire length of the island. This golf cart better speed up. <laughs> All right. We just barely made it in time. So we had five minutes to spare on our golf cart return, thankfully. And uh, I think we'll be here with plenty of time for the ferry. And we have leftover pizza that we might eat while we're waiting, we'll see. We were sitting here trying to enjoy our pizza as best we could in the wind until I saw the windsock they have for the boats is completely horizontal. It's a little breezy today. It's ferry number two. It's very cold out here. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so we have about an hour left before sunset, so we thought we'd stop by and check out the famous Marblehead Lighthouse. This is the uh, longest continuously operating lighthouse on the American side of the Great Lakes. It's a mouthful. Yeah. <laughs> I think we found the one spot on the lighthouse that blocks the wind. Usually tours given of the Lighthouse State Park that we're at, but we're here way too early and they're not open for the season yet either. So I'll try to do my best and give you guys a quick tour. So obviously that's the Marblehead Lighthouse. That is the Keeper's House. 
Over there is the carriage house, the life-saving station, and finally, way over there, Cedars Point Amusement Park. <laughs> oh yeah, and that's Natalie. I don't come with the park. We stayed out here until sunset because we really wanted to see the light come on in the lighthouse. And I think it's on. I was not expecting it to be green. We might have taken a little break in the van. It was too cold. Yeah, we had to warm up in the heat. But we're here and the sun's down. And uh, it's a green light. Oh, it's like the Great Gatsby. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm totally honest, as far as sunsets go, that wasn't really that pretty. It was uh, pretty gray and blue most of the time. You didn't really see much color change in the sky. But as far as lighthouses go, this is a really pretty spot. It's tough finding good places to stay overnight on the East Coast in our experience. I think we're gonna try and stay at the local Walmart. That's like the closest place we've found where we're allowed to stay within like an hour's drive. So we're hoping we don't get kicked out there, but I wanna go and I'm kinda in the mood to cook something for dinner. So um, it's a little bit late, it's like 8.30, but I think I've got energy for it. can't show them the mess I made. <laughs> Ugh. I don't know why I decided to cook all this because Jimmy normally does dishes, but with his uh, messed up shoulder, I'm doing all the dishes. But I just hope it turned out good because then it'll be worth it. At least it's only... Oh, can I guess what time it is? Yeah. 9.30? Not quite. It's 10.53. What? Are you serious? I'm serious. Okay, that was a bad guess. All right, the first bite is gonna be a little lemony, just for some warning. Yeah, I saw how much lemon you put on it. Those look really good. I feel bad messing it up. Like the Brussels sprouts are like a weird thing to add to a spaghetti mix, but I get it, you know. We had it last week and it was actually pretty good. It's like a really messy thing to eat on camera, but. That's true. It was really good though. Yeah? Yeah. Was good. Going down. Thank you. The dinner was great, but um, we are gonna call it pretty soon. It's uh like midnight, I think. Basically. Yeah, it's super late, and uh, we're really tired. I don't know what we're gonna do tomorrow, but we're in a Walmart parking lot. Fingers crossed we don't get a knock tonight. So I don't know. It was a good day. It was a good day, Jimmy. That was a great day. Thank you. Trying to say everything I want to say before the day ends, uh, and then I'm gonna take off my makeup. I like the, uh, the fake bat. Oh, <laughs> yeah. We move him around. Aw. <laughs> That's cute. People are like, is he real? We go, he's real fun. <laughs> Look at this parking lot right here. We got the whole nature preserve to ourselves. That's why we do off-season travel, because we're shy. Jenny, you heck? <laughs> <laughs> why would you do that? <laughs> That's so mean. <laughs>